just policing the police every single day. And doing what the Charlotte County Sun newspaper and local TV stations won't do every single day. Sir, did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? What? Say the question Did you know again? the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? Right really? Here. Yes, right here. Well, it gets that off the concealed carry permits, it's, I'm sure. Uh, no, they're actually getting it from uh, the anybody that sells a gun to a pawn shop or a gun store, and anybody that pawns a gun. As you know, you know that pawning is one of the first ways sure. uh, has to get cash. Right. So, and then to get the gun back. Yeah. Uh, and this is where he's he's getting the list from here. Uh, under 790.335, it's a third degree felony, five million dollar fine. We found out about it 10 months ago and nobody will charge him. He's even uh, profiling with it. He said, uh, let's see if we can work a case on these people. So I assume he's anti-gun? I would have to say yes if he's got stuff like this. So I, that's why I just thought I would you know, be here in case some people didn't know I couldn't afford to get in. 60 bucks, Jesus. Yeah, so. right. They're probably all sold out now. Correct. I thought it'd be a bigger turnout. There's not that many NRA people here. Well, it's a little early. You know? Right. It's starts like, at 6.30 and then it starts early at 7? Or Well, the brochure said starts at 5.30 right. and then the ticket say starts at 6. Right. So, uh, I don't know. Right. So what, what do you think, though? I mean, if uh, it says under 790.335, if I have the evidence and I give it to uh, Meyer Fox, a state attorney, you know, in an affidavit notarized, she's supposed to charge him. And she said, for, she said. For keeping the record. Yeah, she said that this list is not a list. Does that look like a list? It's got names and. Uh, it's got the gun, everything. What do you call it? Uh, I don't. If it's not a I don't know. I think she's going under the Bill Clinton thing where I didn't have sex. I don't know. Maybe something like that. You know, even though he had so, sex. You, you can walk into her office and give her a cigar and say, "Yeah, we know Ooh, about that." Oh, very good. That would. Well, actually, guess what she did? Because we broke the story, uh, she made it uh, illegal to record right. video in her office because right. she didn't want to be exposed. Of course not. Yep. By the way, I even gave the evidence to a uh, um, state attorney general. I actually met her here when the, uh, the sheriff had his uh, uh, party for, you know, sure, law enforcement. Re or whatever. Yeah. So she was here. I gave her the evidence. As I'm giving her the evidence, Bill Permel took her away on video. So I, I want people to know that because he's asking you to re-elect him again. And I... But wait, this is the sheriff. We don't have to vote for him. We're from St. James City. Oh, <laughs> you are lucky. So I'm stuck with it and not you. That's great. Yeah, because, well, of course, the Lee County Sheriff supposedly is pretty corrupt. Heck, yes, he is. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Carmine marcino has got some major corruption issues yeah. going on. Never really possibly a cop. Uh, put there just because he raised a bunch of money for yeah, Mike Scott. Right, and then don't forget the uh, uh, the elections official from over in Miami Dade got busted for Ooh. all of that stuff during the last election. You know. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's several years ago. Now. Right. But it was I did. basically election fraud, and uh, they knew all about it. And anyway. Oh my God. Well, we're going to go in and get it. All right. Good luck on your. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, let me give you my card in case you yeah. want. If you want, like, uh, copies of documents, uh, absolutely, I can send them. Wow, well, yeah. not that. All right. Yeah, we will. Uh, yeah, let there. your friends know I can I can send copies of the document. Not a problem. <laughs> this is funny. I have one of those in a lot more detail than this. Yeah, really? That I got years ago. Oh, is that your m &M? No. Here, hold this stuff. I'll see if I can find it. I can, I'm sure I've probably had it for 20 years or more. So what he just saw is I, I'm actually a reporter for Cop Watch. I know we need cops. I just I, I like to bust the bad ones like Carmine Mycino and my sheriff. So that's that's what I specialize in. I do the stuff that the newspaper won't do. See, I've, I've, oh, that is very good. I've got, that's that's got yes. a lot more detail. Yes, it does. By the American Civil Liberties Union. There you go. I probably well, had it for, for my, my friends. Anyway. Right. I probably had it for 25 years or more. So. Uh, they used to be good. I reached out to them for seven years for different violations here. And
Violations here and they wouldn't do nothing. It was really sad. You can just look the other way. Yeah, yes. it's really sad. And yeah. for Flo and in Florida, it's like the Constitution doesn't exist, in my opinion. I'm from Michigan, so. Well, we're from Idaho. We're from Idaho <laughs> okay, there you go. We're Florida resident. Right. So, but we're here in the winter and we go elsewhere. There you go. In the summer when it gets hot and rainy. So. Exactly. So that's, that's the good life. It, yes, we're it is. It. There you go. Good yeah. to meet you. Hey, All right. Good luck. Thank you. We're yeah. trying. Well, What's that? Surely there's somebody. Uh, there actually there is. This is so bad that but now that the state state attorney won't do her job, state attorney and state attorney general won't do their job. Supposedly the next step is going to DeSantis. I did not know this. Did you know we can't recall the sheriff? He has to be yanked out by DeSantis if he finds enough corruption. And of course, you can elect well, him the out. There like yes, yes, that is true. The sheriff is the highest authority of law enforcement. In yeah, we thought we could recall him. No. Somebody said we can try to petition him out, defund him. Gonna, so you're going to say, please leave? Well, no. You can say okay? No, petition like to the commission. Yeah, on the petition, the petition ask the commissioners, right. quit yeah. paying him. Would you keep working if you didn't get any pay? Hell no. He might. He's pretty corrupt. So. <laughs> So, anyways, that, his paycheck may not be his only source of income. That's what I'm saying. Uh, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. To good to meet you. Good talking to talking you. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Thank good you. Yeah, I am poking the bear. All right. <laughs> and avoid Mark Allen. Yes. Sir, did did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. I've heard that. Yeah, I'm the one that broke the story. Yeah, good for you. All right, so did you ever see it in person? No, I've never seen it in person, but I heard it existed. Yep, This anybody that has sold a gun or pawned a gun is on here. And uh, it's a third degree felony and nobody will charge him. You're doing good work. Thank you. Let me catch this guy right here. All right. Sir, did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? Third degree felony, $5 million fine. Mm -hmm. It's under 790.335. And, uh, and not only that, they are legally profiling them in emails just because they have a gun. Really? And uh, we've known about this story for 10 months. Uh, and uh, you're, when, give, when the evidence is given to the state attorney, Amaya Fox, she's supposed to prosecute. Mm -hmm. She said this is not a list. Does this look like a list? Sure it is to me. Is this kind of like the Clinton syndrome where he uh, said I didn't have sex, but he really did? I'd love to see if my name's on that damn thing. Uh, can I give you my card? Yeah, do that. Uh, yeah, I have, this is just, you know, pieces of it. I got way more. Like I said, we broke the story 10 months ago. I, I gave... We were just at a big event with the sheriff and his wife. Oh. Sorry, can I share Bill Permel? Uh-huh. And uh, I would not vote. Fundraiser for uh, children. Some, some kids, some okay. uh, ranch or something. Right, yeah, correct, yeah. Um, I wouldn't vote for him. This is what he thinks of you and your gun. Uh-huh. Uh, and it literally says in these emails, let's see if we can work a case on them just because you have a gun. If that's the case, yeah, I, I will contact you. Okay. Because uh, I won't vote for him based on that too then. That's that's why we're here. I couldn't afford the ticket. It's 60 bucks to get in, so I figured it was better staying here. But we've known, but I'm with We've known, but I'm with Florida Carry. Eric Friday is a, you know, Florida Carry's a gun lawyer. Mm -hmm. He knows about it. This could be the biggest class action gun lawsuit in Florida's history. Right. We suspect that the cops and the sheriffs across Florida, 70% mm -hmm. of them have been doing this 10 to 15 years. Wow. It's bad. So if you don't want Virginia to happen here, you know, contact me. Yeah, I'll yeah, send you yeah. the documents. Uh, yeah, I will. I will. All right. Great. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, uh -huh. you ma'am. Yep. You have a good day. Did you guys know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? Uh, I did not. Know. It's a third degree felony, $5 million fine. Uh, a Meyer Fox, our state attorney, said this is not a list. Does this look like a list? Yeah, sure does. And here's the emails where they're illegally profiling them just because they have a gun.
Where's that at? Uh, this is a Charlotte County list right here. We believe, I'm with Florida Carry. Yeah. we believe that 70% of the sheriffs and police in Florida have been doing this 10 to 15 years. Really? This could be the biggest gun lawsuit in Florida's history. Huh. And the state attorneys will not do anything because they said that's not a list. Does that does that look like a list? It kind of does to me. Do you have a pamphlet or anything we can have? Yes, yes. I think this is the Clinton syndrome syndrome where they some syndrome where they said it's not yeah. really sex. <laughs> but yeah, I can send you documents. If, okay. Please let the people know that sadly 70% of the cops and the sheriffs in Florida do. If you don't want Virginia to happen here, you got to tell people. Yeah. All right, thank you. My hometown of Born Razor. I can't stand that guy. Very good, thank you. Did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? Yes. Very good. Yes, third degree felony, $5 million fine. I was the one that broke the story 10 months ago. Yeah, we saw it in the paper. Yes. Uh -huh. the, and the state attorney said this is not a list. Does this look like a list? Sure does. <laughs> so can we put them both in jail? Thank you. I appreciate that answer. Yes. Did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? All right. Five million dollar fine. Third degree felony. Did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? Third degree felony. You don't think that's bad? Sir, did you guys know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? Third degree felony. Nobody will charge him. $5 million fine. Did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? Third degree felony, $5 million fine. What? He's collecting an illegal list of gun owners. It's a third degree felony, $5 million fine. Who, who is? The Sher Charlotte County Sheriff Bill Permel. Uh, we don't live in Charlotte. Okay. Uh, I live in Charlotte County. Andy's, Andy's profiling with them. He's saying try to work a case so on what, them. What is your point, though? Uh, that it's a, it's a third degree felony. We need to charge them. You like guns fine or not? Yes, sir. I do like guns. So what's your point? You My point, charge the sheriff for the, he, this is a crime. For what? He's profiling people that have guns. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's right. that's bad. We're at NRA event, right? Yeah, okay. I yeah. Did, I did, I, I'm a little slow. I okay, all right. I'll give, you, I'll give you my card. You can no, email me. Card, man. All right. He can't even run a good one. Once our new sheriff gets in, we're going to be sanctioned. There I you go. Trying to be polite, so I right? Know, no, no. I yeah. Yeah, no, he's profiling, dude. That, it's bad. The sheriff is? He yeah. is. Totally illegal. That's yes. why I'm here. Do you have a gun? Yeah. I, I, no, I live in Charlotte. Yeah. You, have a, you have a petition online? Uh, not yet. I but you're a, right. I, that is one way. I thought we could take him out of office with recall. You got to petition him out. You are correct. Petition online. I can say that's one thing. Charge. My son-in-law is, that's son -in -law why I'm is a sheriff in Charlotte County. What? Hey, you know Randy got promoted to detective? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, no, my son's just sheriff. I gotta be careful what I say. Alright, she's got the card. Right. I'll send you the info, man. It's real, right. it's sad. He's, he's not that sheriff. Oh, okay, alright, alright. <laughs> did you did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? Do what? The sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners, a thir third degree felony, five million dollar fine, and he's illegally profiling them. Okay, I don't know nothing about it. I'm not even from here. Okay. <laughs> alright. Sir, did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? Third degree felony, $5 million fine. You don't, you don't want to see it? No. Okay. Did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? What's that? He, the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners. Third degree felony, $5 million fine. Uh -huh. What's your all about? Uh, that we should free it. Did you know Shower County Sheriff Bill Permel has an illegal list of gun owners? It's a third degree felony, $5 million fine. I did not. All right. Uh, would you like more info? Uh, I'm not, I don't live in. You are lucky county. then. You are so, lucky. I'm screwed. I'm not do I live here. But yeah, let people know inside. He I'm uh, in DeSoto County, so I'm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just let people know in there that this guy is not cool here. I man. got you. All right. Thanks, man. Okay. Sir, did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? Beg your pardon? Did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? No, I did not. Third degree felony, five million dollar fine. I'm not sure what to do about that. Uh, charge him? That, that's a good idea. Sir, did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners here? It's a third degree felony, five million dollar fine. And he's profiling him. Miss. 
Did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners here? No. He's profiling here in uh, Charlotte County, Florida. It's $5 million fine, third degree felony. Sir, did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? He's profiling them. It's a third degree felony and a $5 million fine. Did you know the sheriff has a marijuana legal? Ah, uh, we should. Did you know the sheriff has a, Did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? And he's profiling. Well, the old people are an oxycotton. That's heroin, man. Right? <laughs> Sir, did you know our sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? What's that? Charlotte County Sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners, and he's illegally profiling them. It's a third degree felony. Were you aware of that? No. Charlotte County Sheriff Bill Permel. What? Charlotte County Sheriff Bill Permel is doing this right here. I live in Lake County, so. All right. He's me. All right. You're lucky then. We're do you guys know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? Sorry? The sheriff here has an illegal list of gun owners and he's illegally profiling them. We have the emails. Third degree felony, $5 million, $5 million fine. He's literally saying, see if we can work a case on them. Uh, we got more emails. Type of firearms the real person had, see if they were felons just because they sold a gun or pawned a gun. Terrific. And he, and here and here's the list. Does that look like a list? Sure does to me. You don't know what Meyer Fox said? It's 20th Circuit's car state attorney. This is not a list. Does that look like a list? Looks like a list. Why isn't she doing her job? It's a third degree felony, honest to God, 790.335. Terrific. And they've been doing this for years, 10, 15 years. The database is huge. Whoa. And we found out about this 10 months ago, and they will not do anything. Do you think that's good or bad? It's not, it's not good. I mean, you know, we all know where that's heading for if they continue yeah. to have the list. So yeah, yeah, look at, well, what is it, Virginia, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, yes, this is why I'm here. I couldn't afford a ticket. It's, it's too expensive. <laughs> But uh, this is why I'm here to let people know, and sadly, this is happening. We expect 70% of Florida police and sheriffs are doing this. It's honest to God. Can I give you my card? Sure, you can. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll email you more documents. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's all it's not fake, it's real, totally real. All right, so uh, I'll be in contact to you, and then it's, uh, also to my email address. All you right. Can email me. All right, I will do that. All right, yeah. The more the people know, especially here, because you're at an event that supports our rights, correct? Exactly. And I mean, as far as I know, I mean, even the uh, the federal government wasn't supposed to go ahead and keep lists of us, let alone a local sheriff. Now. That is that is correct. And like I said, they've been doing it for years, 10 years, 15 years. And we believe 70%. I, I'm with Florida Carry. Okay. Eric Friday is our, you know, our gun lawyer, and it's it's bad. This is really bad. This could be the biggest class action gun lawsuit in Florida's history. It's that bad. All right. Well, I'll definitely go ahead and be in touch. Yes, please. I'm not a resident, but I'm right. Like well, to, I just mentioned to Weeble. I just went through the Pennsylvania thing, so I'd right. be able to carry from New York. Here we believe 70% of the police and sheriff are doing it here in Florida. It's that out of control. So, well, like you said, you know, you mentioned Virginia, so I'm sure we're not the only state outside of Virginia that's compiling a list right. then. But that's why they made that 790 so harsh, third degree felony, $5 million fine, because we don't want Virginia, do we? No. We're supposed to be the gunshine state, right? I, I would think so. <laughs> that's right. Thank you very much. All right, get a hold of me. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Did you guys know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? Did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? No? You don't care? Third degree felony, $5 million fine, you don't care? Did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? The sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners and he's profiling them. Third degree felony. Sir, did you know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? What? What's that? The sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners and he's illegally profiling them. It's a third degree felony. Yeah. Did you guys know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? No, I don't. It's a third degree felony, $5 million fine. He's profiling them. Really? Yes. 
Did you guys know the sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners? What's that? The sheriff has an illegal list of gun owners and he's illegally profiling them. It's a third degree felony. Uh, sheriff of Charlotte County? Uh, 70 to 80 percent of all police and sheriffs in Florida have been doing this 10 to 15 years, honest to God. Really? Yes. You, got, you want a card? I'll send you proof. That's okay. Did you, did you guys know the sheriff is illegally profiling gun owners? With list? Okay, all the sheriffs are doing it, by the way. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc. And please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.